Hey guys, it's Catherine here at Journey Healers and I just wanted to talk to you guys today about grief and about the emotions that can come up during the holidays. Um, one of the things that a lot of people experience and not just over the holidays but just in general with grief is that there's like this time capsule that the grief is supposed to be over in this certain amount of time. And what I've learned with grief through my own journey with it is that there's there's no ending to it. So you might have some good days and you might have some really, really awful days. You might be having a good day and then you hear a song or you watch something on TV or you're reading a book and suddenly you're just overtaken with this grief. And for a lot of people, they want to stuff that down and they want to show people that they're over it, that they're strong enough and that they're able to move through whatever these emotions are that are coming up for them. But with grief, it's it's really just our capacity to love and to be able to continue to love people even after they've been gone from this earth or after a relationship has ended because grief can actually come in different forms. It can be grief over a relationship. It can be grief over a loved one passing away. It can be grief over a relationship no longer being what it is that you want that relationship to be. And a lot of times what's bringing up all of these emotions is what we're actually in resistance to. And it can be hard for us to um, allow ourselves to move past what our expectation of that relationship was and move into this place of what that relationship now is. And so I just want to invite you guys all today as you head into this holiday season, if you're celebrating Christmas, um, to just hold that space for yourself and allow yourself to feel whatever feelings it is that are coming forward. That there's no right or wrong way for you to feel that however you're feeling in the moment is totally acceptable. It's totally fine that you're feeling that way. And to reach out to others and to ask them to support you in whatever it is that you're feeling and most importantly to listen to what it is your heart is actually showing you in those moments when you've got these emotions coming up the worst thing that you can do for yourself is tell yourself that you need to get over it and try and push those emotions down I know from experience for myself that this was actually something that I practiced quite often um, after my father died and that was almost 20 years ago so I was a teenager and I was trying to prove to the world that I could survive without my father and now it's 20 years later and I still have these emotions that come up where, you know, every once in a while it's just this feeling of sadness and this feeling of regret or this feeling of disappointment of everything that... I I have missed out on in not having my father with me and even though I can feel his energy and even though I'll get these beautiful messages from uh, friends or clients who um, are able to bring forward a message from my father or I might hear a song on the radio that uh, I know is directly a message for me it doesn't stop this capacity to feel the sadness of when he's passed and I just feel like this is something that we all need to hear that it's okay for you to cry and it's okay for you to miss someone who's no longer here it's okay for you to go through these emotions it's okay for you to be happy even if you've lost a loved one it's okay for you not to be happy even if you've lost a loved one that any of the emotions that you're feeling in this moment any of the emotions that you're feeling really at any point in time not just in this moment not just over the holidays but at any point in time in your life that it's totally okay for you to feel it and you're no less spiritual for feeling whatever it is that you're feeling there's no spiritual enlightenment that allows you to just get past the grief there's no spiritual enlightenment or positive words or anything like that will act that will actually take away those feelings what you can do though is to just hold those feelings for yourself and allow yourself to experience what it is that you are feeling in that moment and to just hold on to it and to embrace it and to love it because in loving what those emotions are, and I don't mean like saying, oh, I love you sadness or I love you anger. I mean, just holding that space and allowing yourself to just be in that moment and feeling how you feel. And in that, you can allow yourself to release that part and to just honor it 
within yourself, which is actually you honoring yourself, which might be honoring the part of you that feels lost without that person or honoring the part of you that just is totally angry at the universe for that person no longer being with you or honoring that part of you that is regretting not having a chance to say goodbye or not having a chance to say all of the things that you wanted to say. Whatever that part is that's needing to be honored, give yourself that space and allow yourself to just sit in the comfort of knowing that you can hold that space for yourself and that you're not doing anything wrong in doing that. Anyways, I love you guys and I hope you're all having an awesome uh, pre-holiday week. Um, message me if you need to and remember to reach out for support if you're needing support during the holidays. Have a great day. Bye-bye.